Yo, what is up, comic spankers? Got done finished reading the newest issue of Spider Gwen, and uh, I, I gotta say, I'm impressed. And that's after months, a couple of months of just not feeling it. Like, the whole Gwenum deal, as, as excited I was to see a Venom version in the Spider Gwen universe. I was just not feeling the last couple of issues. It just I wasn't digging the writing. Even the artwork. Even though the artwork's never even changed. But this issue brought it back for me. I I was digging all of it. Um, you get Frank Castle. You get a Castle in there with Punisher. Uh, he returns. You get an ending that, like, had me, like, shocked like shake the comic in my hand and now I'm on pins and needles waiting for the next issue to see what is the response and um not to give you too much too much of a spoiler but um Ben Parker Peter Parker's uncle Uncle Ben is involved in it and that threw me for a loop, but you get to really see powers that you didn't know Gwenum could have. You get to see her be a real badass, some great dialogue in there. Like, put the fear of God into one officer that was just so delicious, even with the spiders. Like, I and I, I'm scared of spiders. I love Spider, spider Gwen, though. You know, and here's probably a video of me just loving Spider Gwen. But definitely a great issue, number 27, released this week. It was so good. It's like, if I, if I got to do a review of one of them, it would have to be this one. So I recommend, if you are having trouble enjoying Spider Gwen right now, this is the issue to get to. This one will this will be the cherry on top, and there's more to come. So, yeah, like this video. Feel free to share it. Subscribe to Comic Spank. And you guys have a lovely evening. Goodbye.